Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. I am Matt, and today we're going to be continuing our series on basic craps. And this is a part of another chapter of strategies that I use while at the casino. Those of you that have watched some of my other videos and know that I spend a lot of time talking about Drunk Guy Explains, the DGE system. It's a way that I learned a lot about to play craps in order to maximize my profits. I give Charlie a DGE um, a lot of props, so check out his channel and check out his videos that talk about the different strategies and the principles that he uses. So this is principle number two. Uh, last time we talked about the four and the ten, laying against the four and the ten. This time I'm going to do what he calls is the anti-fire bet or the fire bet um, strategy. For those of you who don't know, the fire bet is available at some casinos where you can bet usually as little as a dollar. And if there are between four and six points made within one shooter, you can get money back from the casino. So typically, if you bet a $1 fire bet, and let's say that the, um, they roll an eight, okay, and they make the eight point, they will identify it with this kind of chip. And if they roll a 10, and they make the point of a 10, it de they delineate that with the chip. And let's say they roll a five, and they make the five. Okay, so that is three unique points. Now, during this time, they might roll another eight and then make that point as an eight. So that would be the one, two, three, fourth point, but it's the only still the third unique point. You only get paid if a different point is rolled, let's say the nine in this case, and they make that point. And then you get that chip placed on the number and then my $1 bet will earn me $25 back. So if you make a fire bet, you'll get a quarter back. All right, and so on and so forth. If somebody happens to get a six and they make that point, the next level up is a five, uh, I believe it's 250. It says it right here on the chip. Yeah, it says it's 250. So your $1 will pay you 250. And there might be many points on and off, a six again, a 10, an eight, an eight, an eight, a five, a 10. But then finally, if somebody makes the point of a four, that $1 bet on the fire bet will get you $1,000 or 1,000 times your bet. This bet is very rare. You can talk to the casinos themselves. They have to post the odds on every game of chance that they offer at the casino. And the odds of winning this are, <laughs> correction, the odds of losing it is 99.9%. .9%. That's just a fact. So what Charlie did is he had an interesting thought. He's like, well, if it's 99.9% .9 to lose, how can we turn that around? So he figures, all right, we start playing on the table and we start playing with an offsetting don't pass and pass line bet, table minimum in this case is $10. And the shooter just continues to roll, continues to roll, continues to roll. And let's say they make, they roll an eight. And then after a couple rolls, they make the point of an eight. Okay, so you would lose here, but you'd be paid here. That's what the this offsetting bet does, okay? Um, it's a nice, people say, you don't know whether you're coming or going, but it's true, but it also allows you some different options within the hand. And I'll get into that now. So now we're into, okay, the next roll is a nine. Come out rolls a nine, and let's say they make that point of a nine. That gets a second chip, that's the second unique point. Third come out roll, they roll a nine again. And then they make that nine. Nothing happens with the fire bet. Okay, it's still just those two unique points. But this time they roll a five and they make the point of the five, and that's the third fire bet. So that's the third unique point. At that point, you start betting on the don't pass, specifically. You can take the money off of the pass line and bet, let's just say the table minimum to start with. So there's a $10 don't pass after the third unique point. Well, if you wanna be more conservative, you can wait till the fourth point is made. And then you have even a greater chance of hitting the seven before these points are made. 
I like to do three. It's kind of middle of the road. If you're really aggressive, after two unique points, you can start betting the don't pass. But I like doing three. So we bet the don't pass. Let's say the point is a eight again. Now, if they make, if they roll a seven, everyone's money that's up here in the pass line loses. But you're on the don't pass. So when a seven comes out, you would win one-to-one -one money on your don't pass bet. But let's say they hit the eight. In that case, they're gonna take this $10 away from you. And then you're gonna go back up on the don't pass by taking the amount you lost, $10, one, two, and adding five. Now you're at 15. Okay, so I'm putting my losses over here. Uh, over there. All right, so you have $10 lost. Now we have 15 up. Let's say they roll a nine. Rolling, rolling, rolling. They make the point of a nine again. So you lose the 15. Now you've lost 25. So you come back with 30. What you've lost plus five. So keep in mind now they've rolled one, two, three unique points and then five and six points. So there's been six points made, but again, only three unique ones. Let's say they go and they roll a five again, but this time they, but this time they seven out. When they seven out, they'll clear these fire bets. They'll clear all the money from the, from the place. They'll clear all the money from the pass line. And then you'll get paid 35, uh, excuse me, $30 on your flat bet here, one to one. So remember we lost 25. Okay. So that's all a loss, right? So if we get the 25 back, plus five dollars, you made five bucks. And look at all this action you had. It's pretty fun and exciting, right? That's the idea of the anti-fire bet, is you mark the unique points and then you start betting the don't pass. Do you have to bet the don't pass and the pass as an offset? You don't have to. I recommend it if you're interested in shooting because sooner or later, the bets, uh, the dice are going to move around and the person to your right is going to throw the dice. And if you don't have action on the table, they're going to, the dice are going to pass by you. You won't be able to throw. So this is a good way to make sure that you have action on the table. Some people do uh, an all tall small uh, for three bucks in the center as action. The casino recognizes that as action on the table as well. So um, leave the pass and don't pass as an offsetting bet. The only time to lose money is if a 12 rolls, which case you'll lose this, but that's a push. And then wait for those three unique points to be made and then take your money off the pass line and start petting the don't pass. Last thing I'll say about this is again, the aggressiveness. If you want to start after two, do that. If you want to be more conservative, you wait till four unique points are made. And of course you, this starting, bet amount is $10, but you could very easily say, I'm going to start at 25. Like I've hit four unique points. I'm going to start at 25. And if they hit a nine and make the point again, you lose 25. So then you come back with 25 plus five is 30. Okay. You lose that. Now you've lost 55. So you come back with 60. All right. And if you lose that, so then you've lost 115, so then you come back with 120. So the larger amount you start with, the faster it, you're gonna start getting up here. And don't forget, on a come out roll, on a seven or 11, you lose this as well. So there's a chance you might just lose that before they even get to a point. Those are the things you have to be aware about. Nothing is, nothing is guaranteed, especially when it comes to craps. But I hope you learned about something about the anti-fire bet brought to you by DGE. If you have questions, comments, or strategies you want me to test, leave those questions in the comments below. I'll link everything that I need to in the description so you can learn what is the best way to help increase your profits. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. I am Matt, and I will see you at the tables. All right, bye-bye.